All right, everybody, welcome back. Randomly, believe our designs. We're in the studio again. I'm gonna finish up a set that I was messing with earlier today for a special friend of mine who's a YouTube follower, big time supporter from pretty much the beginning of my channel, Sally. She knows who she is. She suggested I do some yellow after the last red set I did for someone, so. We're going to see uh, if we can finish this yellow set off. I did one earlier just to make sure it would work. And threw it all over Facebook and Instagram and everything. It's, it's doing pretty good. So we'll get you over here. We'll look at the table. And we'll show you what we got already. So we got this one yellow one. Came out nice. We're going to finish the set. So three more coasters that size and then one trivet. <coughs> Excuse me. Got my cup set up here. This is another, I, this is my first attempt. I was trying to get a nice yellow feel, but these felt a little more green. Not that there's anything wrong with them. I mean, woo boy, look at that. Mm-hmm, those are beautiful. Those are beautiful. But we want a yellow set. That's something Sally inspired me to do. And I've never really done just a yellow set, so we're gonna throw down a yellow set. Let's see, we got two cups. We need some more cups out here. So I can try to get my table set up first. I'm not gonna mess around. I don't think they'll all fit in this one. Probably put one trivet here to match that green stuff. So that trivet should fit there. To move this just a little bit. We can get our trivet in there. Put three cups there. That's how I get it set up to dry my trivet just like that the little cups make sure the cups ain't stacked up on top of each other or they'll be crooked and if they're crooked like if this little lip is hanging on top of that lip like that that's gonna make that thing crooked and it'll drain that paint right off and you will be so angry you'll be like Whoa. so you just make sure they're not on top of each other a couple more cups here good so we can dry a couple sets up here Got a nice. Come on, cups. I got this nice set of red ones over here that I I did inspired by some of, but oh, they didn't seem like they were too impressed. So those will go to a nice home, or they'll stay in my kitchen. Beautiful. Yep, yep, yep. So we get these over here. Just finish getting my cup set up so we're all ready to go. And we'll go as fast as I can. We'll describe these colors. Now I got a bunch of colors because I made a bunch and that's what this happened. And then I had to go, okay, well, if we're gonna try for more of a yellow, we can't have all that in there. So this nice yellow feel, we'll walk you over to the mixing table. There's the magic table, that's right. What's gonna go down right there, that's right. We got <clears throat> my pouring medium. If you wanna know how I mix my pouring medium, you go watch video number 20. That's gonna show you exactly how I make that pouring medium. And then I put one ounce of that pouring medium in this cup. And with that, I mixed in this Pearl X Brilliant Gold. One good scoop on the end of my stick. And one small drop of this Primary Yellow by Amsterdam. Mixy, 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 mixy. Mixy until your hand hurts. Just keep on mixing. Don't be a lazy mixer. Get her mixed in real good. That powder is a little bit more difficult to mix than like your standard liquids. So just mixy, mixy, mixy until your hand hurts. The next color we got is this these little oink oink got this piggy we got that techno we all know what it's like if you're gonna have a party you put in that techno the next one folk art yellow flash this is a color shift color i think the shift is to like a a gold I mean, it's a yellow to a gold but it's beautiful that's for sure each one in that cup, I started with 
one ounce of my pouring medium first and then with this one is just a good squirt about the size of a blueberry you don't get too much with that this powder is just one little scoop on the end of my stick Whoosh. mixy 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 this one let me get this backwards let me see yes that this is color shift is in this cup so maybe now we can see that in light a little shift yeah you see that it shifts to like a gold this other yellow is only my one ounce of pouring medium and this yellow Amsterdam I made one just regular yellow like this to make that thing turn out that, that yellow over there so those, those are the colors I'm going to use all yellow each one a little different so you got a little darker yellow a little bright sort of greenish almost yellow obviously just your yellow yellow and then this color shift gold yellow. Cell activators, I got six ounces measured out on my scale. Six ounces, or no, sorry, sorry, no, 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 no. Don't put six ounces in that cup, it won't fit. It's only a four ounce cup. You want six grams of your Floetrol, whatever you're using, Amsterdam or a mixture of however you're making your Floetrol. I put six grams. Of that in here and then I put two grams of the Amsterdam primary yellow makes you real good like super mix until that cup almost starts on fire the next one again I got six ounces on my skin oh, not ounces I keep saying ounces not ounces six grams of this Amsterdam flow trawl six gr that's grams mind you six grams in this cup and then i have two grams of the oxide black which man i gotta order some more of that i'm almost out i don't know what life would be without that so that's what that's the colors i used to get that yellow now the other ones that have that greenish look for my cell activator i mixed it the same way six grams of my floetrol with one gram of the oxide black and one good scoop of this color art bling it series interference gold that made this man it's a it's a green like no other i mean that's that's almost that's some sort of jewels in there man i love the bottom of that cup Woof. then i have just black for for color so my one ounce of my pouring medium and about a two grams ish somewhere in there of the oxide black that's all that's in here for a color because black is mixed up with every color you see it's going to pull things like greens or blues out of it so that's why they got dark and greenish like that so i didn't want to use that when i was just trying to do yellow this other beautiful color man is again one ounce of my pouring medium a good grape size squirt of this dragon poop man you got great you gotta get you that full card dragon poop yeah, i got unicorn poop and dragon poop and this dragon poop mm -mm -mm. this is a full spectrum shift so it shifts to every color my opinion it's like a midnight blue sky or something it's just awesome in there Oof. but again i can't use that if i'm trying to get yellow so i'm gonna do my first set finish it off three more four inch coasters one six inch trigger right here right now live on the channel <laughs> and then i'll shut you guys off and i'm gonna finish that other set i'll post all the pictures of the other set but i don't want to hang you around too long with that video so we'll get you set up we'll make sure i can put you down oh the table was still wet that was from earlier today Oof. i'm getting the paint on myself so we're gonna Grab some gloves and stick some gloves on. Don't we'll be drinking a little wine today. That's right. Go. Mean that good little feeling. Not that you need it, but I like it sometimes. Give me, give me these gloves that somebody bought. That are too small. I don't know who would do that to me, but 
Someone decided I needed smaller gloves or something. But the, these were tight. <laughs> Jeepers, creepers. Guess that's what you want your doctor doing. Getting the gloves tight. I'm going to drop it down here. Put you on canvas. On the tile, I should say. Get you locked into position. I'm going to push pause. I'm going to get all my colors over here. We're going to we'll go down. See how close we are to the center here. That's how I kind of get it close to the center. I just use my fingers like that. Get it close. So when you spin it, it kind of spins even. Spins them colors even. Otherwise, it gets wobbly to one side or something. But we'll... uh. Okay. I would go get the colors. Gotta do it. Get them over here. Get them done. Some of that. This flippy floppy. Alright, we're gonna get her done. We'll get her done. Got the colors over here. Got all my tools ready. Got my straw. Got my eviction notice. In case there's some bubbles that need to uh, get put to a different uh, apartment building. Drop down some pillow. We'll go to town. I'm gonna get my ketchup bottle. Folks, I tell you, I love this ketchup bottle for my pillow. Keeps it nice. Yeah, worry about it. Open a big jug all the time. It's the cleanest. From what I've seen, it's the cleanest way of doing it. Look at that. I mean, you just, psh, bam, done deal. Give me a little spread out here. Get a paper towel ready. Just give it a little spin just to kind of thin it out a little. <clears throat> just about like that. I see a bubble. I see a bubble. Oh, he went by that. Right. Let's see. Let's try just the regular Amsterdam yellow first. Sure, get me a good size ring of that. Just yellow. See, so I'm trying to keep things yellow here. Then we're gonna throw in this darker sort of gold on top of that. Just to make some beauty. Go with that color shift. Which I, I think it shifts to a, a gold. That's what I think. It's like a yellow to a gold. Squiggle that around. Drop some of that super bright techno on there. Squiggle that around. And then I'm just gonna put kind of another sort of smaller dot right in the center here of that just yellow. Just before my cell activator. Have these bubbles on here. <coughs> he doesn't want to go anywhere. Let's go. Bye bye. Yep, you get out. You too. Right. Put that black cell activator. It's about that much. Oop. I'm going to go with a good amount of this yellow cell activator. Put it like that. Blow it out with this giant hair dryer or, blow, or leaf blower I got. And get down in the center first and blow it across the paint. Across the paint. Some cells popping out.
I'd have, to, <clears throat> I'd have to help it out in the middle a little bit with a straw. We'll find out. Look at that beauty. <laughs> Man, what? Boy, I hope we don't have to help this at all. I don't want to blow some white pillow cells into there. Oh, look at that, man. I'm just going to kind of spin it around. Just keep tilting it from each angle. Try to get that pillow paint collected back underneath there and push those big old cells right back to the center because I don't want to lose that beauty. Japers. Oh, if you could see what I could see. Ooh. The way that gold and that color shift is shimmering in there. Oh my. I might have to use this straw in the middle. Doesn't seem like I'm going to get it to want to push all the way back to that center. So we're going to help it just a little. It hit the white. I'd rather not hit that white. We'll leave it. We'll be patient. Be patient, folks. Be patient with me. Got a lot. I mean, it's all nice, but I have a lot of really good stuff here, so I'm going to try and let this drift over to the other side here a little bit. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, that's beautiful. <clears throat> I'm gonna let that collect a little bit. My hope, my throat is a little hoarse. Though I know what fixes that. <laughs> that right. Oh yeah, that's much better. See, adulting is fun. <laughs> yeah, that's looking nice. Ooh. Get them big, big old cells in there, man. Look at them. Hi. We're a bear claw. <clears throat> okay, we'll give her a we'll give her a spin. It's nice even. Let it do what it's doing here. Slow your table down just gently with your finger on the table. Don't start your spin too fast and don't slow it down too fast. You'll make yourselves wonky. Look at that. Oh, my. Yeah, thumbs up, boss. <laughs> we got some day of drapers. Crapers. <coughs> <clears throat> that big cell right here I, I gotta leave that thing I have to I like this giant one too but I gotta get my heart in here somewhere I gotta get at least one in there those of you who know me you know what that's about that's my signature right there you, you, let me zoom you in see my signature you can see that heart oh yeah it's right every one of my paintings got that love on it I'm betting if you were if you were cool enough you could just start signing your name in here. I just hate to take away from this man. I always leave enough on the back side so when I'm done putting my cork on there I still have a spot to sign it with a good pen. But I mean I know I'm I know I'm good enough. I could sign my name right in there. Believe like bloop. I just don't want to take away from the, the beauty. I'll give her one more slow spin. I don't want to lose too much, but I did see a little spot that needs some of that paint to come off of there. I'll look at you with your close-up view of the spin. That making you dizzy, huh? Let me slow the table down with my finger. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, I still have my one heart. Check each one of these corners. They all got nice paint. I do see this one random bear spot, it looks like. I mean, it's probably paint, but if it's white paint, I don't like it. 
Oh, I'm gonna piss you off. Ooh wee. Well, I don't know, man. It's that's beautiful this here. Go ahead and pull this off the table. I'll take it over to the drying table. Set it on a couple of them cups back there. We will drop another one down. Oh, yeah, that's like a... Are there yellow monarchs, man? Because that's what that feels like to me, is a yellow monarch. That's beautiful. Reapers. I'll wipe off these bottom edges. So that paint ain't under there pulling on my beauty. We'll set this on the drying table. We'll come back and do another one. Might have to hit it with a torch just real quick. Let's see, one, two, one, two, three. Uh, it is beautiful. It may have pulled slightly a little bit more green than that first one I did earlier today. I think maybe I put the TLP Techno. I need that to be deeper or something so it's not sticking out so bad. We'll find out. I mean, it's not bad. Really. No reason to mess with it really, but you know how it goes. You get a vision in your head, you, you, it's got to be that, and that's it. Right? Come on, pillow. Oh, jeepers. Oh, jeepers. She came flying out of there. Tip just a little bit, I guess. Okay. Don't worry too much about messing with this one. It's got enough pillow on there. Jeepers. Got to do a six inch drill with that much pillow. Yeah, there's definitely plenty of pillow on there. I'll give that a little spin too, Jeepers. Just to thin that pillow out a little bit. We'll do it again. Okay. Regular old yellow. Old yellow. I'm gonna start soon. Maybe the next video I do, I'm going to do way smaller blooms, and I'm going to leave them on these coasters and the trivet so that it has a lot of negative space on the outside edges so it still looks like a flower. I'm going to do a bunch of those. I, got, I did a few kind of on accident. The last event I was at selling, I had a lot of people that wanted theirs all that way, so I was like, okay, maybe I should just make a bunch that way. Not something I normally do. Usually blow and spin it right off the edge of the canvas. Try to put that techno here instead. Let's see. And we won't use as much of it. Kind of. It's a beautiful yellow, but it looks, it's almost like it does have a, a green sort of tint. That color shift right here, that's just... <laughs> That's straight beauty. Woo. A bit more just that Amsterdam yellow. That way those cell activators are grabbing that first. Makes that nice little yellow border around everything. A little drop of that dark cell activator, black. A little bit more of the yellow. 
Judging by the last one, I don't need as much as I was thinking. Let's see what we get. Any of you who use that blower like I use there, <clears throat> that world's largest, as I call it, but world's smallest leaf blower. Any of you who use it, you have to let me know how you like that thing. You like it? You don't like it? You don't think it blows hard enough? I mean, if you look at mine, you can't really tell what mine is. <laughs> this is all, I covered it with a... A rubber glove and then some of that blue painter's tape now watch it watch something silly and something fall off into my painting of course that would happen but see I just left the exhaust uncovered and I covered the rest of that glove and that tape I, mean, I like the thing at first I hated it I wanted to throw it out in the street and let cars run it over but after a little bit you just get a little bit of that technique of getting in in that center first and then scooping across that paint and staying going across, going across. I think it does beautiful. Oof. Yeah. This one is looking real good. I do see that techno making <laughs> love with that color shift paint, so it's actually making a, a color shift to a green now. But whatever, it's still beautiful. It's beautiful, man. Just kind of tilting the table around, moving, moving that pillow paint back into the center, up underneath the acrylics. And then we'll get the Captain America shield. Whoop, whoop. We'll spin this out, nice and even. Just a. And I, trust me, I know, it looks like a million miles an hour in that camera. But that's just a slow, even spin right there. Counterclockwise, I went first. I'll slow down the table. I look at it. Oof. Yeah, I'm liking the way, I'm liking the way that one feels. It's got like a, a starfish sort of flow to it. It's nice. I'll go one more even spin clockwise. A little bit slower than that last one. Hit it with the torch quick after that. To make sure if there's any of them bubbles up in there. Say bye bye my friend. I didn't see too many pop because I actually mixed my paints see way earlier this morning. Then I just let them sit over there on my mixing table, uncovered, for probably, let's see what it was, let's see, about nine hours, I would say, somewhere in there, completely uncovered, just let them do what they're doing over there, and what they do is they get... Just to the right thickness I like for doing my bluing. And all the bubbles come up to the top and disappear already. This one looks nice. Yikes. Yikes. That one's going on the drying table. Is that a bubble? I see a bubble. What's he doing? I don't remember asking you to this party, dude. Get out of there. There's one right here, too. You can cross the border one way. Guess which way that is. Right off the border of my painting. There you go. Ew. <laughs> I left, like, poof. <laughs> nowhere to put my heart but you know me i don't care there's gonna be one he's gonna be right there Whoop. that's right <laughs> <coughs> i 
just ain't my painting if that heart ain't there. Any of you newcomers who just either happened about seeing this and started watching and you like what you see, drop that like. Go down there to that spot. You know where it is down there. Yep, down there. And you take that subscribe and go, you hit that subscribe. Take the bell and go, jingle, jingle, jingle. So you get notified the next time. You see some more of this beauty. Oof, man. That's right. Look at that. There's that heart. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Do a clean it off at the bottom. Like I was saying, I know some of you can see that. That techno making that. Just a. It's a green, man. It, it turns like a fluorescent sort of techno green. I wonder what it does in a black light, man. That's what I wonder. I'm going to have to check it out. I wonder if it's super cool. Ooh, if anybody knows, put it in the comments. Have you used this TLP Techno and, and stuck it to a black light? What'd you get? What'd you get? I want to know. Put it on the drawing table. Oh, get on down there, you. That's where you would belong, son. Okay. Wipe my hands off a little bit. We got one more coaster and then one trivet. We're almost done, folks. We're almost done. Not that it bothers me. I'll do this all night long. Oops, we got a little smuts, man. Got a little smuts on here. Not that that's going to matter. We're going to paint over it. Okay. Oh, something for my acrylics to rest on, like this little pillow here. I have to do something to the edge of this lip or something. I mean, I see it's clean. I don't know why it's like staying in there all weird like that and doesn't want to come out right away. Okay. Again, with that regular yellow, Amsterdam. Definitely had plenty of pillow on there, huh? This is my buddy SI Frost watches this one. He'd be like, Yeah, you're getting it, man. Now nah, you're getting it. <laughs> oh, Captain Pillow. Captain Canadian Pillow, man. <laughs> I'm sure some of you who are following and supporting my channel, you know who my buddy is up there in Canada. All his giant pillows. Wife's probably happy. He's probably got a bed full of giant pillows. Drop some of that in there. Put that color shift on there. I didn't mind it turning that lightish green. I don't mind it. It's beautiful. A little squiggle squiggle of this regular yellow here right in the center with my cell activators are going to go. Hit it with a torch. I see some bubbles. I see some bubbles. Get out. Let's see, we're, we're doing good as far as how much of the black is coming through, so we don't need much more of that. Um, maybe a touch more of this yellow this time again. I think I got a little bit of light on the last one. I like to have just enough of that yellow or white, whatever you're using on the very top cell activator, so it makes those nice crisp lacing lines. Blow it up. pillow boy but I got it a little bit didn't I sure did just a little bit well 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 
I'm not gonna mind that one little pearl in there. We're gonna hide a little pearl up in here. So, tilting my table right now. You see me only lifting it like just that little bit. Just lifting it just a little bit to get that acrylic and that pillow paint to just start marrying back up in that center. Get rid of that big yellow blob and make it just crisp lines of lacing. Like you see spidering out of here. Like this spider man. Oh, that one's nice. I'm gonna be sad spinning this one. I'm gonna be sad. I can see it. I'm gonna take my little finger here and take some of this paint off the table and off of the trivet here and just or the coaster. Just put some on these dry edges so we don't have any trouble here. Got plenty of uh, paint on the table, that's for sure. Don't 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 worry about that. <laughs> Just keep being patient. Let that pool up in there. She looks nice. She looks real nice. I'm already going to show the heart in this one. I can see my spot right here. There's a nice one. Then we'll see what it spins to. See if we lose those or if we got to add one somewhere. She looking good, she looking good. Oh, indeed. Okay, a little counterclockwise spin, nice and light. Grab my Captain America shield. One of my videos, uh, I think we have the camera crew recording me. You can see what I'm talking about with my Captain America shield. I just put this piece of plasticky wood, some sort of really thin luon or some type of plywood. Not even plywood, just like a masonite or melanine, something. Put it in front of me. Then we don't have to worry about the paint coming off the end of the table. It stays nice and clean. Even though a dog came in here one day and grabbed a bunch of paint-filled sticks out of my garbage can. Drug them all around the floor. A silly dog. Old Boba. Just spinning off some paint. Yeah. Where's our... Heart's got a little distorted, so... <clears throat> We're gonna put one somewhere, that's for sure. I can I can still see it, but it's pretty big and wonky, wobbly. Big old abstract thing. We want a good one. Just like that one. Stick another one deep in here. Pull it right out of there. Which is nice. I like this corner. I like it. Weird, way deep inside of there, some ghost like weird cells in there, man. I like it. That's nice. Another beauty for the drying table. Come on off of there, Bumblebee. You like Autobots, roll out. That's right. <clears throat> Get up under here, get my drippy drips. Would you imagine that? I hit it ever so slightly with the edge of my paper towel and knocked in just a little bare spot. There we go. Can't have no little bear spots. Yeah, how about that, huh? That's beautiful. Got my hearts right there. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's the four yellow coasters. 
and we'll do one through it. And then we'll give you guys an outro. Let you get back on the rest of your day because I'm probably going to post this. I know it's kind of late at night. and you're, From what I've seen, you really shouldn't post them late at night like this. You get less views, but whatever. My troopers know where it's at. I might have to bust me out some uh, more pillow paint to get through the trivet even. We'll try to make that last. Flip the ketchup bottle upside down. You know how. You do it in your refrigerator too. A little spinny spinny doo dah. So get this bad boy covered. Mm hmm. And then we're going to do it to it. Come on, beauty. Ew. There's a big bubble in there. He might need a, uh, he might need a victory notice. Torch might get him. Oh, torch got him. Nice. Amsterdam yellow. Some of that brilliant or bright gold by Pearl X. Kind of running away over here. Get back in the middle. Get. Don't ask you to leave yet. Is that techno? Squiggle, 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 squiggle. Some of that folk art color shift. Yellow flash. Here's a big old bubble. Take that one more kind of drizzle of the Amsterdam yellow. It's not an opaque, I mean, it's a semi opaque, so it still does its job. Get him out of here quick. Yep, there you go. Kind of, it's kind of running away on me. I go over here. Table has a lot of paint built up on it. I'm guessing one spot has a big blob that the spinner is sitting on because normally it don't move anywhere. I have to clean off my table, I guess. A little quick torch. Yip, yip, yip. Don't blow it, man. Blow it. Put a little bit more black in for a cell activator this time. A couple, just a little more of a drop. But it's looking nice. I'll get this to where it wants to start to pool again over in there. I'm gonna have to go get a drink quick. Look at what it's doing here. Oh, jeepers, that's beautiful. Jeepers, whew. Oh, yes, indeed. I just love how it's super big in that middle, and then you can just watch it. It's like using the force or something. It's nice. It's nice and beautiful. 
chemistry. It's cool. I'm going to keep letting that collect up. I may have to smack that in the middle with this uh, straw. I don't want that big old yellow dot. We'll just give it a second see what it does. Give me a drink. Well, I suppose we can try to see what it does. Yeah, it's just gonna it's gonna force itself to the pillow if I keep messing with it. I just don't like to get into that pillow and something like that. Should be pretty. Should be pretty. It's definitely all moving as one, so. That's how it's going to be in that center. Let's spread her out. She'll look cool. She'll shrink even more once it's uh, on its way to drying. Get better get my shield this time. I've got a lot of paint on that table. Probably use my uh, putty knife and scrape that paint off of there after this one. Getting a real thick over here, a little bunch of super thick paint flying everywhere. One more spin, and I'm gonna find my hearts. At least one of them's going in there. We've got paint flying off the table like crazy. Oh no, I just realized too, I forgot to put my camera stand back in its plastic bags, so there's paint all over it. <laughs> Not the one holding my camera, my light stand, sorry. I don't really care. It should peel off of there when it's dry. So, that one looks beautiful. Check my edges real quick. They look like they're all covered. Oh, there's one itty teeny tiny spot right here. Oh, right in this corner right there. Okay. So, there you have it for the coasters. Beautiful. Oof. Come on. Don't mess with me about throwing that thing clear off the table. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Oof. Sorry, I was just getting an angle so I could see that gold shimmer. I don't think the camera will pick it up until... It's resined and I can really move it around, but man, it's beautiful. Oof. Clean off my bottom as always. Right get under here. Get them drips that are pulling down on that surface paint. You don't want that. Again, thank all of you supporters who have already subscribed. Thank you all so much. I think I'm at like, I don't know, what am I at? 550 or something already? It's climbing pretty quick. Here's, I see it right now. Took me a bit to see where this one should go. Right here. Put one in this little void, do that's a good one. Yep, 
yep. Get to put my heart in there. All right, on the drawing table. Oh, would you imagine that? Well, we got an extra one. Someone should have yelled at me and said, Hey, man, you already got four coasters, dude. Dang it. Well, now I got an extra one. That one's going in my basement, I guess, with a bar. <laughs> that was way too funny. I have to, I have to steal a cup for right now. That was way too funny. I had this extra coaster sitting over there, so I just went to town on it. Here, I already had four coasters. So now we get to uh, we get to do the trivet. We got an extra bonus yellow coaster. All right. I know one of you is in there commenting too already. I could probably I could feel it. One of you's like, "Hey, dude, you you already did four coasters, man." <laughs> That's too funny. So I just wanted to kind of pull it this here. Get some of the thickness of this paint off my table. It's getting pretty thick. I'm going to have to change the actual hairnet. I got a hairnet on there. I'm sure there's plenty of you who do that. Just a real cheap one too. I don't buy no expensive cloth one. Man, this is a cheap, El cheap old matador. I think I got a package of like, might have been a hundred of them for like ten bucks or something. It was cheap. I don't spend no bunch of money on that stuff. Uh -uh. Just take a bunch of this paint off. Throw it in garbage. A bunch more of this paint off. So it ain't flying everywhere. It was starting to fling. Sorry, I'm gonna take a second here and do this. It was a must happen, had to happen. When I'm, when I'm done with this trivet, we'll take a quick look at the table, the drying table. We'll show you the ones I already did. And then I'll walk you right over to the resin room. We can see this whole bunch of them in there. Then I'll actually do another thing. I'll pause it. And I'll just go run upstairs really quick. And I'll show you the jewelry pieces I have laying out on my counter up there that I'm, I need to finish. And then I'll get out of here. How about that? All right, let's go. Let's get a good one. Let's get a good trivet. Beautiful trivet. Come on. I've got my fingers crossed. Yeah. That's right. I'm a little spready spread. It's like that Nutella, man. Put that Nutella out there. That's a big old, big old pillow, too. My pillows keep getting bigger, folks. I don't know why. We're going to spin this one just a little bit to thin it out. She's a little bit thick. Here we go. All right. Here we go. We can use as much of this as we want because this will be the last one where I need this. Those other ones that I did earlier that came out more of a green. I mean, there's yellow there, but they ended up a little bit more of a green. They didn't have any of this, just yellow. So I can get rid of this if I want. Definitely need to make sure have another good chunk of it for when I'm at the top of here. So my cell activator is sitting on it. There's a torch. A bit of that gold. 
bright gold. Uh oh, here comes the demon dog. I heard you, Boba. What are you doing in there? Huh? What are you doing? Man, he's over in the resin room being naughty. I can feel it. Boba. Boba. Hey. I gotta go look at this one. What are you doing in here? Well, you've been making a mess. You did last time. You naughty. Oh, he ran back upstairs good. Just getting some of that gold all up in there, or that color shift. I like that color shift. Get rid of a couple of those bubbles. And we'll put this... Primary yellow from Amsterdam, so that it's just underneath where my cells are going to be. And we can use all of this. We're done with it. That's beautiful. Another quick torch here. Being a trivet, six inch, maybe just a dot more black. Uh, some of that yellow. Come on, beauty. Come up out of here. Come on, beauty. Come on. filters over to this corner here so we're gonna have to wait a second we're gonna have to get this to file itself this way could have, could have blown a little bit here get a couple cells to pop out of there Let it collect up. That's beautiful. Uh oh, I hear Captain Naughty upstairs being naughty too, Jeepers. feeling some of that should be all right when I spin it spin her nice and even take it clockwise first Slow it really slow. Don't try to slow it down too fast. You do this bigger six inch, you know, slow it down. Slower, slower down. Have a look at it. You can see some little fine bubbles. If you do one spin, them, them bubbles will come right up to the top. You can torch them quick and they're gone. Bye bye. Tilty tilt over this way. Uh, slow spin counterclockwise. 
that do what it's doing. I will have to put some hearts in here. Hang it up dry. Yes. Ish. Yes, some of them spots are just beautiful. Oh, yes, indeed. So. So, I got Ghost Heart right there. I'll try to get a... Good little threesome there. A big flat one right there. Could do the threesome here too. Yep. That's it. That's it right there. Mm-hmm. Now, mind you, I hope some of the, uh, not that I don't like it, don't get me wrong, it's beautiful, but I would want maybe some of that dark stuff to thin up a little bit while it's drying, and usually it does, so it should be in good shape. Make sure we got paint on all the corners and sides, which we do. So I'm going to go on the drying table, too. Oh yeah. Oh definitely. That yellow lacing is phenomenal. We like it. Me like it. Just cleaning the bottom really quick. And we'll take the gloves off. Take you across the table, have a look. up here I didn't even look how long it was but I don't know. Ain't too bad I don't think Let's see what we get yep so there's the set four nice coasters mm -hmm. there's the trivet and then we, we did a bonus. <laughs> we did an extra yellow one. Yay! Some people buy just random one-offs. So I'll probably, you know, I'll resin it. I'll stick it in one of my shows. Some will probably just buy the one. Or sometimes I've even had this happen. Because I've done this before. They'll buy the trivet and all five of the coasters. They'll take them all. We'll find out. So what we'll do now... Go over here into the resin room and the walls of shame, as I call them. Which some people say the stuff on my walls in here aren't ugly. I think they're ugly, that's why they're hanging here. But I got like man, big old space man, Some big old spray paint art. Now, that ain't pouring paint, but that's on a wall of shame. That's realistically on the wall of shame for one reason. My wife put it in that big glass piece of stuff. And then she realized it was crooked. So she tried to take it off. Oh, She tried to take it out of there. And you can see this little corner. It got ripped. Because the paint was still, you know, to where she shouldn't have been touching it in the first place. She hears me say that. I'm in trouble. Okay, check it. Bango. These are all resined right now. All of them. They're just looking so... Man, oh man. 
This is literally one of my personal favorites of all time. Oh, throw stuff, man. Throw it. We get this cup out of here. Watch this magic dance, hopefully. Nope. Oh, yes. I'm sure they yeah, man. Woof. Okay, enough show and tell. It's business time. The, the weird black stuff you're seeing right now is from these stupid lights that are so bright it's crazy. But there's some beauties. I mean, there's some bags of beauties in here. Hoo, hoo, hoo. This one's nice. They're all nice. They're all nice. Well, I'm not even going to pause you. We're just going to run upstairs real quick. We'll have a look at the jewelry I made. We won't tell these family members to... Oh, no. Alexa. Pause. Okay, here we go. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Mm. Oh, yeah. Little necklace pendants. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, this one's it's a little bigger than the other ones, but man, that's so nice. It's beautiful. Get it all nice and resined in there. Mm-hmm. A little bit bigger one there, too. That one's actually real deep, too, so there's a lot of resin in there. Just a little, little tiny guy. That was a little beauty. That one's already on a necklace sort of choker cord. The tiny black and blue sort of gray. Some green. But that's it. That's it. We're cutting it off. If you like what you saw, subscribe. Hit the like. Share it with your buddies. Hit the bell so you can come on back to the next one. We'll see you next time, folks. That's right. Leave you on a good note.